Okay. Again, as, as you know him, it's a great honor for me to introduce all of you again, the Professor uh, Luis De Boni. Okay. Professor De Boni, I will say some details from Professor De Boni. Dr. Luis De Boni, everybody can hear me, okay? Okay, Luis, can you hear me? Yes. Well? Okay. Yes. Continue. So. <laughs> Professor Luis De Boni, Dr. Luis De Boni, was born in 1979 in Flores da Cunha City in Brazil. He perceived his master, received, received his master degree in engineering in 2008 at the former faculty of chemistry of the Pontificial Catholic University of Rio Grande do Sul. He undertook his PhD in engineering and material science into the group of Professor Isaac Newton. I checked the information. Yes, the Professor Isaac Newton is another one. He lived in Brazil. It's still alive, okay? I checked that information because it's, uh, for me, it was a notice for me that somebody with the same name uh, exists. And he's yeah. still working. Part of the world. <laughs> okay. Um, he undertook his PhD at university, uh, in the same university in Rio Grande do Sul in 2013. Some part of his PhD was made in Coimbra, Portugal, where I had the pleasure to meet him uh, for the very first time. Dr. Luis de Boni is a former professor of chemistry and currently works in the state water company from Rio Grande do Sul. He is the editor-in-chief of the Southern Brazilian, the actual, okay, the actual editor-in-chief of the Southern Brazilian Journal of Chemistry and former editor of the periódico Che Química. Today, Dr. de Boni and Dr. Uh, uh, Goldani that we couldn't arrive, will, uh, will give a brief resemblance of the production of synthetic biofuel. Again, the conference are connected. We, we will be speaking about the, our spatial science, and it's very good. And we were speaking about the biofuel, the, about fuels. And now Professor Deboni will say, uh, or will tell us something about synthetic biofuel. Okay, Dr. Deboni, the audience is yours very much, Dr. Walter. It's a pleasure. Well, I will start the presentation and now it's my time to, to speak a little bit. I won't be nervous and it will be super natural. Okay, of course, of course. We are between friends. Thank you. Uh, one second. Great. Can you see the screen? Yes, we see. Perfectly. Okay, thank you. So allow me to start. This presentation is regarding the production of synthetic biofuels. I have worked with uh, biofuels for a few years and there is some time that I am not producing it anymore, but uh, I hope I am not uh, too far behind from the state of the art. My colleague, Dr. Goldani, he, he, he's working in his other job. I'm not sure if he will arrive in time, but he allows me to, to start the conference. Thank you very much. So this is a brief summary of what we will discuss. And regarding <clears throat> the production of biodiesel, okay? There are two reactions that are the most important reactions that are commercially used. We have the transesterification reaction and the esterification reaction. In Brazil, we have uh, at least three common sources of uh, raw materials. They include animal fat, uh, soybean, soybean oil, and residual frying oils. All these materials, they have uh, intrinsic properties that when you make biofuels from them, they are transferred to the biofuel. A good example is when you make uh, biodiesel from soybean oil, it doesn't freeze at room temperature. And when you do it from animal fat, like uh, from cows 
it tends to freeze at room temperature, so you need to adjust uh, the conditions for you to use the fuel in your motor. Can I, can I add just one information, please? Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, You're welcome, Dr. Goldenin. Yeah, so sorry about uh, being a bit late. So, uh, hello, everyone. I just would like to add that uh, uh, in our case, in our account in Brazil, uh, one of the advantages of producing biodiesel is that uh, we can produce it uh, using, I would say, more than 50 different raw materials. So we have here uh, plenty of different raw materials that we can use, not only wastes, but also uh, 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 raw raw materials that uh, we can make it uh, a bit uh, cheaper to produce here in comparison to other counties. So this is one of the advantages we have here in Brazil. Uh